Now, you know, some guy managed to fool Google Maps thinking that a road is on a traffic jam with 99 smartphones. So what are we going to do today is that we're going to just do a really simple experiment to see if that works. Now, we are not exactly going to do a rate traffic jam kind of traffic on Google Maps, but we have about 20 phones right here in this basket, including these three phones that I have right here. So what are we going to do today is that we are going to make all these 20 phones navigate to the same location. And Victor here, my assistant, he's going to like pull this trolley around this entire deserted road where there's almost no cars around. And we'll try to see if we can create at least a moderate traffic condition, which the maps should be showing in orange, you know, brown, orange color kind of type, type of color if you look at the maps. So let's begin by, you know, turning on all these phones, connecting to the same Wi-Fi hotspot, and we're going to just make them navigate to the same place. All right, let's do it. Okay, so I have my Pixel 4 XL here. It is, all these phones are going to connect to this phone and we have about 20 devices here. So the Pixel 4 XL is going to be the hotspot device here. I'm going to enable it. So meanwhile, Victor is turning on all the phones. I'm going to make my three phones and, you know, to navigate to the same place. So let's just choose a, a really nearby place or any random place that we see on maps. All right, so it took a while for us to set up all these phones. So as you can see in this box here, we have all 20 phones inside routing to some random location. So Victor here will be pushing the trolley. We're going to go to the opposite road there, put on this basket of phones over there. And Victor is just going to walk one round and back. And we're going to check out on our other phone to see if the map turns orange. Okay, so let's do it. So let's go opposite. So we didn't exactly have a wagon like you see online, but I think this trolley will serve pretty good as a vehicle, right? So we don't know whether this experiment will work or not, but all we can do is to try and find out. If it works, then, you know, Google probably has to do something about it. But if not, then it's good. No one can cause a havoc. Okay. Yes, it did. It works. <laughs> Do you see just now here well, it was actually all green. Now it's orange really. <laughs> Alright, as you can see, we did actually cause a little bit of havoc to Google Maps because as you see, we actually made two U-turns. Of course, the two lanes that we were on are still green, but if you look at on the top there where there's a U-turn, we actually caused a moderate traffic jam over there so i think this experiment kind of tells us that google still has to fix its maps algorithm to detect that it is actually a real car that's moving along so yeah um this proves that our experiment kind of worked a bit you know so that's pretty much for today's video it's a really simple experiment to find out if 20 phones can actually cause a moderate traffic jam on a deserted route like this it kind of worked a little but i do suggest that you don't do this because it's not really adequate we just really want to find out for fun if it really works right here so google definitely has to fix up this bug on google maps and we hope that will happen really soon so that's pretty much for today thank you for watching subscribe to our channel for more videos coming right up follow us on the usual social media channels and i will see you in the next round